Hey y'all, I hope you had a great week. Man, my week was crazy. My week was really crazy. Um, we had a really bad storm in Michigan and our power was out. So we were like hotel hopping. I was packing up stuff daily. It was so much, it was so much. But we're back home now, I have power. It's time to wash my hair. I have an event I'm going to today so I want my hair to look good. Um, it, it's a little not right. Remember last week I used Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic, and Moose Step. I really liked how it, um, like the definition of it, but it's getting really big now and I'm really getting tired of having my hair in my face. So I'm thinking this week that I might like twist the front. So I've been doing a lot more research on the 30 detox and it's nothing like you really think it is. It's a lot more of a mindset shift as they explain it. It's more of a commitment, like 30 days at the start but to actually see a difference, it's more of a commitment. So I'm gonna talk more about that. Like at the end of this, I'm gonna do a wrap up video um, with my final thoughts and everything and if I'm gonna continue and stuff like that. So make sure you're subscribed if you wanna check that out or you can follow me on Instagram. We're gonna both, you know, I'm not gonna, you can do whatever you want to do, but if you want to, I got, I appreciate it. Oh, oh, I'm getting a close up of my hair. So let's go to the shower. So first things first is thoroughly saturating all of my hair with water. purpose cleanser I'm using Trey Lux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse. I use a few squirts of the shampoo. Now this is new. I'm going to thoroughly spread the product around in my hand before applying it to my hair. This is called emulsifying. See how much product that is really? So I'm going to apply it at my roots and my scalp and work it in really really well and then apply a little more down the length of my hair. Again, emulsifying, like spreading the product around in my hands first before applying it to my hair, just to get the most bang for my buck. Opening the hair and thoroughly applying the shampoo. I'm also gonna start detangling at this step as well. how gentle the shampoo was even though it was really cleansing so I'm going to go in with a second shampoo and I'm very careful to assess my hair and make sure I'm not overly cleansing my hair again spreading the product through my hand before applying it I really like how a little goes a long way with this shampoo and notice how much lather I have the second time around it just shows that my hair is really good and clean Next up is a moisturizing shampoo. It's rich and funky by Uncle Funky's daughter. Again, I'm going to emulsify the product in my hand, kind of over my head as well, so I'm not wasting anything, and then apply it the same way I applied the first shampoo. A few people recommended that I use a different moisturizing shampoo for this step, and I did go out and buy a new one, so make sure you're sticking around to see what that new one is. I'm going to thoroughly rinse out the second shampoo and get ready for the conditioning step. Just starting with the little finger detangling, just to see what I'm working with. I have my five sections in my head and I'm going to start applying my conditioner. I'm using AG Boost. It is amazing. The slip is amazing. The smell is amazing. How much ease it gives me detangling is amazing. This is just a great conditioner. It's a little pricey, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. Like look how much product I'm getting when I emulsify. So I start at my ends and start detangling. I'm also going to use the Felicia Leatherwood brush. So a few people did recommend that I use the brush vertically instead of horizontally and as you can see it got caught in my hair, but I am going to give it another try. It's 
let's look at that glide just oh, just amazing so this is my treble section this is my kinkier denser section and i'm going to give you a live demonstration of how long it took me to really detangle with the brush so this clip is not going to be sped up it's just real time detangling with the brush as you can see i tried vertically and it just got stuck but eventually I end up working the brush up my hair and see how much product is just on the back of my hand. There's also a lot on the back of the brush too. I'm telling you, we're not wasting nothing. When it comes to the water product ratio, it's also important when applying conditioner to your hair. You wanna make sure you have enough water to product. So I'm applying the product first to my hair and it kind of feels like I need a little more slip when I'm using the brush. So I'm actually gonna go back in and add more water to this section and then detangle. After adding water, it's a whole lot easier to work the brush through my hair. For styling, we're using the Pure Flaxseed Gel by Curl Mix. I actually really love this brand. I've worked with them before and their products are absolutely amazing. I apply the gel to my ends and work my way up. Now you see how my hair is before adding more water. Now I'm going to go back in under the shower and add a little more water and squish my hair until I hear a nice squishy sound. I know it's hard to describe, but if you try it, you'll understand what I mean. So I'm feeling my hair and seeing if it needs more water or not, and I'm squishing all the water into my hair. Yes, I feel like product's being removed a little bit, so I'm going to go back in and add even more product. This is the water to product ratio I was talking about previously. It's all about how much water to how much product your hair needs. And I will say that curl mix is a little bit different than Uncle Funky's daughter, so you have to remember that as well. So the left is before adding more water and product, the right is after. You can definitely see more elongation in the right side. I'm gonna go over the water product ratio one more time. I am thoroughly saturating my hair first, emulsifying the product in my hand, starting at my ends and working my way up. Applying it from my ends all the way to my roots. Once I feel like my hair needs more water, I will add more water and then squish the water into my hair. After that, I will add more product. After I'm done applying all of the gel to my hair, I put a plastic cap on, finish showering, get dressed, and then start with my hair. I'm going to apply the Pure Avocado Moisturizer to my hair. Now this is a light hold, so if your hair is denser, less hydrated, or has a lot of buildup, it might not respond the best. Also know that it's the water that adds the weight to your wash and go when you're using curl mix products. It's not the products really, because they're really light. I'm also gonna separate my hair and really try to work in the products and actually style my hair. I'm raking it through my curls and smoothing as well. Here's one section done. Alright, so I did my back section. I'm on my middle section and I want to point out um, your coarser, denser areas of your hair. I would always separate it into smaller sections. That way you can really work the product in. I use two pumps. I'm going to emulsify. I'm going to start at my ends. The same way I started with the, <clears throat> the same way I started with the leave-in. 
Start at the ends and work your way up. Any section that needed a little more defining, I would add more product and try to rake through and smooth my hair a little more. actually do like a flat twist around the front or two flat twists or something because having my hair in my face is driving me crazy and so I got my hair parted from ear to ear I'm going to use the tangle teaser wet detangling brush I use this on my daughter her hair really loves it so I'm just going to use it to smooth my edges just a little so I'm not applying any more product I'm just going to twist them all right, so I think I'm gonna do this in the mirror, so I'll be back. All right, so this is my hair. I am done. I put a flat twist across the front and I pinned it up in the back. I think I'm actually gonna loosen it because it feels a tad tight and I don't want it to be tight at all. Um, so this is what it looks like. I am excited to sit under the dryer. I swear, I love, I love me some Pro Mix. I really do. So yeah, I'm gonna go sit under the dryer and then I'll be back. Bye. So my hair is all done. It's pretty much dry. It's a little wet underneath here. Not wet, probably a little damp at like in the middle section. I would say it's about 85 to 90% dry. I really like how it came out. It's so soft. It smells really good. I like the way it has. I probably could have improved my technique in this section, but I think I need a trim. I'm pretty sure I need a trim. I need to bring up the back and I need to bring up the side. So we get up close, you can see the hair. See, I still got, that's still wet. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for hanging out with me for week three of the no oils, no butter method. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see week four and my final thoughts. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.